Hello friends, welcome to Prismatics Online class. In our today's class, we are going to look at our uh, topic on the board called Mathematical Induction. In our previous class, we explained the principle of Mathematical Induction, method to solve what Mathematical Induction and the application of what Mathematical Induction in everyday life. But today, we are going to solve another example. The question says, using Mathematical Induction, prove that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus into 2n minus 1 is equal to what? n raised to the power 2. Okay, now we need to test solution. We need to what? Let us test test for p of 1. That is where n equals to 1. From this place, we pick n equal to 1, which is 1 is equal to what do we have? 2n minus 1. Now let's go. 1 is it equal to 2n 2 times 1 minus 1. 1 is it equal to what? 2 minus 1. 1 is equal to what? 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Proof. Now if we say when n equals to 2, we have this thing. 2, 2 of this, 1, this, we have that 1 plus 3 is equal to what, 2n minus 1, let's just have it, 1 plus 3, we have it as a, a what, that is the second one, so we have this in as the second entrance, which is 3, the second, at the second position, which is 3, we have that 3 is equal to this, now let's go, this is 3 is equal to 2n, that is 2 times 2, minus 1. Two, 3 is equal to what? 4 minus 1. 3 is equal to what? 3. Hence, hence, p of 1 is 2. For all, for all positive integer n. So that is still. Now, second one, we are going to go for the other, the second one. You know, we have three principles, three methods. One, we test for P of one. That is when one when N is equal to what? One. Second one, you test for P of K. That is when N equals to K. Now, second method step. Second step. Now, let us test for P of what? K. That is when n is equal to k. From this this place, we have that one plus three plus five plus two n minus one is equal to n square. When n equal to what k. We have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2. Anywhere you see k, put us. Anywhere you see n, put k. Which is now 2k minus 1. Close it. Is equal to what? k square. Call this equation. Equation star. Very, very important. Now, s. We can say now s. P of k is true that is um is true yes p of k is true when n when n is equal to what k is true okay now step three step three let us test for P, P of what? K plus 1. That is when N equal to what? K plus 1. From equation 2, we can go straight forward and have it as uh, that is all from the same equation, which is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 what? 
plus let's go 2k let's follow here 2k minus 1 plus what do we have k plus 1 anywhere we see this local okay this will be 2 into k plus 1 close it minus what 1 is equal to what n our n square is what our, our k which is what k plus what one or square that is how to do it okay if you have this always recall from equation star always recall from equation star that equation star we have recall that one plus 3 plus 5 plus 2n minus 2, 2k, sorry, 2k minus 1 is equal to what? Is equal to k squared. So another name for all this, another name is what? k squared. So now we are going to replace this, this thing here. We are going to replace it from here. Okay. Now let's go. What are we doing? Our essence of solving this is that we want to know whether the left-hand side, expansion of this left-hand side, will it give us the same thing with what expansion of what right-hand side? So in this question, in this question, you, you need to know about the left-hand side and what right-hand side. If it is true, then you know that it is true. If they are equal, then you know that it's true. So we want to solve this left-hand side, expansion of this left-hand side. After we solve the expansion of this right hand side, I know and equate them. If they are true, then means P of K plus 1 is also true. Okay, now let's go. If from here to here is what K square, we are going to have that K square plus this one 2, 2 times 1, 2 times 1 will give us 2 times K will give us 2K, 2 times 1, uh, two one will give us uh, plus 2. 2 and look at the brackets minus 1 is it equal to expansion of k square k square k, k, k plus 1 into k plus 1 because this, that place is k plus 1 square we have to expand the right hand side okay now let's go what we have here k square plus now let's go to this place. We have this thing as 2k 1 minus plus what plus what 1. Is it equal to what? Expansion of this k into k plus 1. Close it plus 1 into k plus 1. Close it. So do we have that k square? k square plus 2k plus 1. Is it equal to k times k will give us k square? K times this one will give us K times 1 will give us K. 1 times K will give us what? K. And 1 times 1 will give us what? Plus what? 1. Now let's go. Is K square plus 2K plus 1 equal to K square plus K plus K will give us 2K. And no plus what? 1. Now having done that, this is equal to this. So you can now see hence. Hence, P of K plus 1 is true. P of K plus 1 is what? True. Then, generally, generally, you can say that hence, P of P of 1, comma, P of K and P of K plus 1 are our true. For, for all positive number N, for all positive number N is true. Therefore, we have that P of K exists, P of K plus 1 exists, P of 1 exists, and that is how to do it. Test for P of 1, test for P of K, and test for P of K plus 1. After everything, equate them. Are they the same thing? If they are the same thing, P of K plus, plus 1, what 
is true. And that is how to solve mathematical induction. Thanks and God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prismatics Online Class. And follow me on, on, on Facebook, the same Prismatic Online Class. Please like, share, and comment. God bless you. Bye-bye.